Hi, in this tutorial, uh, which will be a quick one, I'll just show you how to add some basic lighting into your level. Uh, we won't cover anything too advanced. Um, but basically in chapter 6 here, let's open our base uh, file here. And once this level loads up, you'll see it's very simple, just basically one room. Uh, currently it already has some light fixtures here, a door, and a, a light fixture at the end. So what we're going to do first here is um, I'll show you where the lights are. Um, so if you go over to your library panel underneath the markers, you'll see by default we have a white, red, green, blue, yellow, purple, and cyan light. Um, so what I'm going to do is click on the yellow light. And you'll see right now if I zoom out, um, basically the, the icon following our cursor is the actual center of the light and the big red circle around this light is basically that's going to be its default uh, lighting I guess you would call it range um, what we can do is we can take that down in size by pressing the square bracket keys on our keyboard so basically if you press the square bracket in you'll make it smaller the square bracket out you'll make it bigger um, what you'll want to do with the new lighting system is basically you don't want to go too big but you also don't want to go too small so don't be afraid to put in some lights and fool around with them so what I'm going to do is just put in a single light here and right click to remove my current light and I'm going to right click on the light to go into its properties uh, now you'll see we have a light range of 250, a light color of 00FFFF, which basically this is the hex format of red, green, and blue. Now with um, FPS Creator, unfortunately um, it's backwards, so it's actually uh, blue, green, red. So let's say if I wanted to make um, the color orange, which is normally uh, FF6600, if I were to enter that and click off, I get a totally different color. But if I enter it in backwards, my light now becomes orange. Um, it's just the way that the creator works, so you'll just basically have to get used to it. Um, there's also a little drop down here which you can use other colors or you can use whatever you want here. Uh, I'm just going to keep my default light as orange so I'm going to apply these changes and I'm also going to pick this light up again so it just follows my cursor. Um, click a light down there and a light obviously on the other side because I have two light fixtures. So basically I'm lighting up uh, just about the entire area here. Uh, now to deal with this light in the back, uh, of course it's our wind zone, so I'm going to use a green light, and I'm just going to shrink this down to, let's say, about that size, and then just place it. Now you notice you kind of didn't see it placed, but if you mouse over with your cursor, sooner or later you'll pick up that light source, which then you can right-click and view its properties. So basically the lighting um, it's very simple it will take quite a while to get down um, but if you want to look at this level for some reason I, I'm, I'll save it for you just underscore lights uh, normal here so in our next tutorial we'll look at setting some flickering lights so we'll get into some dynamic lights instead of the regular static stuff so I'll be looking forward to you then